previous videos, we introduced the MPA-1000 and the launch kit. For those not familiar with the MPA-1000, it's Magnica's system on a module, based on its ME10 system on a chip, that converts 4K 60p444 HDMI audio video streams to 1 gigabit Ethernet using lightweight, high-quality compression. It's compliant with the AV over IP standard, IPMX, created by the Ames Alliance. Now let's dive deeper into the features of the MPA-1000 module so you can see it in action. The MPA-1000 comes with a web interface, allowing users to configure the behavior of the module and to discover and connect to devices. The web interface is provided as a reference for our OEM customers and can be customized to add a logo, change the color of the web page, or completely redesign it within the confines of an Angular framework. We'll demonstrate that in another video to follow. Let's take a look at how discovery and connection works and how to configure the module's functions. After physically connecting the device and turning on the power of all equipment, you simply type in the IP address of one of the target devices from either the encoder or the decoder in your favorite browser and hit enter. Let's do that for the encoder now. The default IP address for the launch kit's encoder is 172.168.228.1001. If you're accessing the interface for the first time, the provided password is required. In this case, we already have, so we can skip that. And you see the encoder page on your browser. Now let's connect the dev kits to a network and see how they work. First, the simplest connection. Unicast from one encoder to one decoder. In addition to the encoder and decoder hooked up with a network switch, connect the ethernet cable to your control device, in this case, this laptop. When you hit this button, the media stream starts to flow and the video appears on the monitor. You can stop the media flow by disconnecting the device. The MPA-1000 also supports multicast streaming, which is often seen in digital signage or large classroom or auditorium applications. In this case, we have one encoder connected with four decoders. Once you access the web application, go to the Configuration tab and set the stream delivery to multicast for both encoder and all of the decoders. Then you will see all four devices in the NMOS section of the media page. Connect all devices and then hit the Enable Stream button. And now you have the video on all four monitors. If you want to stop one monitor, you simply disconnect the device. When you reconnect the device, then the video shows up again. Now using a common HDMI tester, let's see how the system works when switching the video resolution. This HDMI signal generator is sending a color bar image with two moving rectangles at 4K 2K at 60Hz refresh rate. Let's switch it to 1080p at 60Hz. After a few seconds, the video shows up in the new resolution and rate. We just scratched the surface of the MPA-1000, and we are releasing more videos to walk you through its features. If you have any questions, please contact us directly through our website, macnicatech.com. Don't forget to subscribe or follow us so you don't miss the next video. Thank you for watching.